Not then. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that the enemy's shackles are broken off you. Because the anointing of the Lord is upon us to preach the gospel, to release those that are in prison. Hallelujah. Amen. And for the Lord to give you a garment of praise, you have to receive it by faith. Because there are so many things happening in life that makes us feel pressured. But the joy of the Lord is your strength. These are not just words that we are uttering. We are uttering them because we believe. The word of a king doesn't so go back. So it becomes a law that governs the atmosphere so that we are walking so in. The word of God is a lamp unto my feet. Is a light unto my path. It illuminates in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us look at Luke chapter 9, verse 28. It is the story about the transfiguration. Jesus took three disciples with him. Peter, James, and John to the mountain to pray. You know what God said to us? He said, prayer will be our calling card. So prayer must be something must be our foundation in GKCC. When we declare an open heaven, we declare through prayer. So Jesus was a prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. As he was praying, verse 29, the appearance of his face was transformed. His clothes became dazzling white. 30. Suddenly, two men, Moses and Elijah, appeared and began talking with Jesus. They were glorious to see, and they were speaking about his exodus from this world, which was about to be fulfilled in Jerusalem. And now, they come back. Okay, let me see. In Luke 11, they come back. Luke 11, Verse 1. They had a desire to know or to learn how to pray. One of the ways we connect with God is prayer. And also with prayer, you need to be full of the word. Because you cannot just pray empty words. The Bible says once Jesus was in a certain place praying, as he finished, one of his disciples came to him and said, Lord, teach us to pray. Just as John taught his disciples. So when Jesus prays and ministers, he connects with his father who's in secret. He would isolate himself from the crowd and the father who sees in secret would reward him openly. And this is the tangibility of the ministry of Jesus. The blind see the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, the dead are raised up. The poor have the gospel preached to them. We have to challenge ourselves as the church. Why are we no longer seeing the miracles? Not the commercialized miracles, but the miracles that come as a result of us believing and working with the Holy Spirit. When last did we heal a blind man? When last did we become comfortable with our surroundings to say it's okay? If things are 
things are as they are in heaven. We need to be operating like Jesus operated. Because he said greater things than he did we will do. The Bible says that Miracles, signs, and wonders shall follow them that believe. So if we are believers, we must still see these things happen in our daytime. Time. We must be full of prayer. Our children, they must see us pray. They must know there's a time of prayer. There's a time for devotion. I think Jesus, they saw him praying. They heard him pray. And they saw the things that were happening. Lord, teach us to pray. One of his disciples saw him pray. He heard him pray. I said, earlier on, prayer is speaking. To pray is to break silence. Yes, it means we are so quiet. Even if you say, Lord, thank you for my life today in Jesus' name, you are not quiet. You have actually broken the silence. This means that your mouth or your words are connected to your heart and mind and out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The word of God must be planted in your heart. In your mind. So that that which you speak is the word of God. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. In Matthew 6, 9 to 13, the word of God says, after this manner, pray, therefore pray, ye our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever Amen. Amen. I'm interested in verse 10. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. In earth as it is in heaven. Are we ready to make some declarations before I continue? May we please stand. We are breaking the silence. So we have to demonstrate it. So that even when we are at home and you are feeling pressed, the Lord brings to remembrance today's service. Just lift up your hands. Say, dear Father, dear Father, thank you for blessing me with time. Thank you for blessing me with time. To be in your presence. To be in your presence. Together with my family. Together with my family. Reveal your will to us. Reveal your will to us. We are expectant. We are expectant. Deliver us from spiritual blindness. Deliver us from spiritual blindness. And spiritual deafness. And spiritual deafness. We declare that we see and hear from you. We declare that we see and hear from you. The entrance of your word brings light. The entrance of your word brings light. In your light, we see light. In your light, we see light. This day, Lord, this day, Lord, we receive you in your fullness. We receive you in your fullness. We are hungry and thirsty for you. We are hungry and thirsty for you. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, we surrender ourselves. We surrender ourselves fully to you. Fully to you. Spirit, soul, and body. Spirit, soul, and body. You are welcome, Holy Spirit. You are welcome, Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, 
Heavenly Father, we receive the ministry. We receive the ministry of the angels of the Lord. Of the angels of the Lord. Our ministering spirits. Our ministering spirits. We declare an open heaven. We declare an open heaven over GKCC. Over GKCC in 2022 and beyond. In 2022 and beyond. Over our lives. Over our lives and those of our families. And those of our families. Thank you. For for opening our eyes thank you for opening our eyes to set our minds on things above to set our minds on things above we declare that signs we declare that signs miracles and wonders miracles and wonders follow us follow us in Jesus name in Jesus name we love we love Pastor Joy. Pastor Joy. Kahulu. Kahulu. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We may be seated. So whenever we come in this gathering, we must come with prepared hearts, prepared attitudes that we are going to hear from the Lord. The plan Morero. The purpose le, le morero. and the will of God le is what I want to talk about in line with this message. We have to walk in obedience. Muruti taught us about obedience. We have many, many series study preaching our teacher obedience. As it is in heaven. Even with your life, it must be as it is in heaven. The Lord says, I know the plans I have for you. People have it the plan ya mudimu ka bophelo ba gago. Batho ga ba iti the plan of God for your life. So uska pigelela le bona. So don't argue with them. When you must just be aligned to the Lord. When a fela tsepa ma le morena. Your desire. Di keletso ya gago. Must be for him. Inne ya ga gore ene. To order your steps. Gore ala ile metsa mao ya gago. Because he knows the plan. Ka gore ena o iti morero. He has the blueprint. E na o tshwere plan. Do you know something? Even as you are sitting here this morning, the word of God in Psalm 139, in his book, he has written every moment of your life before you even lived it. So you are history unfolding. When God looks at he you, he does not say, Mar, what can I do with this one? No, you must discover what is this plan that he has for your life. And he says this plan it is to prosper you. It is not to harm you. It has an expected end. It is a plan of hope. That says the Lord. So then in order for us to understand the plan of God, we must walk in obedience. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. On, on, on the screen. May we beam it on the screen? Erin, if it if in all the conditions, now it shall come to pass if you diligently do what? Obey what? Your God to what? Carefully. How many? 10% or 20%? All his commandments which I command you today that the Lord your God will set you high. I'll set you if fell high. Be, you are not only set high. In a little condition, if you diligently obey and observe to do all that he says you must do. He will set you high above all nations. It's not only for you. It is also for your children. Can we also beam some 112? I want you to see all these conditions so that we can fully obey some 112. Psalm 112. 
praise the Lord. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who delights greatly in his commandments. Two, his seed or descendants shall be mighty on earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. So that blessing is connected to our obedience to observe all his commandments. <laughs> It may happen that your family has not left you an inheritance, but your inheritance is found you in the word of the Lord. You must just be obedient. You must walk diligently. The Lord is speaking. But are we positioned to hear him? Obedience is a now action. Tell your neighbor. It's a now action. You can't say, Ish, Irikia, Kokonka, Mudimukitla Mona next week. Eh, eh, now. Mudimukitla Mona next week. I'm not in, in the book. AI Quetzin Gabu Pilobaha. More booking that he has written about your life. It is, where is it written to where you must be today? You see the importance of prayer. Lord, lead me. Let your will be done in my life. Help me, Spirit of the Living God. That I must not find myself where you do not want me to be. Do you understand? Sometimes you have to say no to some invitations. It's not every invitation or to accept the RSVP. That you must accept. Obedience is the posture of your heart. It will determine whether why you have voice ya morena. To do his will. To fulfill his purpose or not. We need to deal with that unbelief. What is a plan? It's a method of achieving an end. So God has already declared your end or the end from the beginning. He has an entire plan for your life. Whether somebody who divorces is a plan for your life. Whether somebody who divorces is a plan for your life. Whether somebody who divorces God has a plan for your life. Whether somebody who divorces is a plan for your life. If somebody has forsaken you, God has a plan for your life. Whether papa who who pichile is a plan for your life. Whether your father has denied you, that God God has plans for your life. Whether the tender they are going to buy one more than a plan for your life. Whether the tenders are going to one place, the Lord has plans for your life. The tender they are fell, our plan is made with you forever. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, it's forever because he sits on the throne forever. So lift your eyes to the hills. Your help comes from the Lord. The problem with men. It is when the Lord says, do this. What am I going to gain from it? So it? as children of God, we must trust the leading of his voice. When the Lord says, go to this such and such a place. He knows why. He's not like any other person that has disappointed you. That somebody has promised you a job and you haven't found it yet. Ah ah, the promises some of you they are in the affirmative, they are yes and amen. So he has a reason why he's telling Abraham go to a place that I will show you. Go to a place go to a place that I will show you. Go to a place that I will show you. Go to a place that I will show you. Go to a place that I will show you. Go to a place that I will show you. Hey, it's been good to have you today, and I'm sure the Lord has spoken to you. Well, let's meet again next week. Remember, 9 o'clock, we have our service in the building. 9.30, we go live. So I would like you to help me. Just like, share, subscribe, and let's get the gospel to go viral. We want Jesus Christ to really be Lord. Until next time, from me, bye-bye.